Hey everyone, Dan from BeAGameCharacter.com here, and uh, today we're going to talk about leadership. Uh, this is the first time we're going to talk about leadership, but probably not the last. Uh, there are quite a few different video game characters that exhibit great leadership as part of what makes them awesome. Um, it's people like Ezio Auditore from the Assassin's Creed series, you know, he becomes master assassin, basically leads the entire assassin's organization. Uh, um, you got Bowser, who commands the entire army of Koopas, and, you know, I mean, it sounds kind of dumb, but leadership is actually a big part of his shtick as well, because, I mean, it's not easy to control a whole army of people. Um, you got, like, Master Chief, you know, you got, you got lots of really cool leaders, you know, people that, you know, everybody else looks up to and they follow, and it's very often a central part of some games, you know, I mean, they, they, it's the hero storyline where, you know, they start out like nothing and they become awesome. Um, Ike, we covered Ike as well, you know, so there's quite a few characters that exhibit leadership as part of what makes them cool characters, and so leadership is something we should actually talk about. Um, now, leadership does not necessarily mean you have to be in control of an army or a, a you know, band of assassins or whatever. It could be something as simple as like you're playing a, a team game. You know, you're either playing a sport or you're playing an online game or something like that. It could be, uh, you know, maybe you got promoted at work and all of a sudden you're in charge of like four other people and you've never been in charge of people before and you don't really know what to do. Um, so we're going to highlight a couple of different leadership, you know, tactics as we go along in this video series. Uh, today we're going to focus on one that's kind of simple, which is find a common enemy. Okay, now that that's, sounds kind of ominous, but it's actually it can work really, really well, and it does not necessarily have to be singling out like a person or a group of persons. Um, for instance, last night I was playing League of Legends. I love League of Legends. I play League of Legends all the time. For those that don't know or those that have not heard, League of Legends has a reputation for a horribly toxic and unpleasant community. It's like the one real downside to the game. The game is tons of fun, but sometimes the people who are in it are just total jerks. And these are people that are not necessarily jerks in their everyday life. But you put them online with no filter, you stick them in a team game where one person screwing up can make the game way harder for everybody else, and all of a sudden they turn into a bunch of rabid, angry monkeys that just fling poo at each other and tear each other apart. So, one of the tactics you need to be good at in League of Legends is working with other people. If you want to win, you have to work with other people well. And last night, I had one game left for my promotional series, and I was like, I have to win this. I have to win this. So, you know, I go up to the next rank. I'm like, you know, we're going to go into this with an awesome attitude. So one of the easiest things to do, especially in games like League of Legends, where you're competing against another team or competing against another group of people, is to find a common enemy. So in team chat, we're sitting there, we're selecting, and luckily champion select went relatively well. You know, there was some, this, you know, quabbling about positions, but eventually we all found what we wanted. And uh, before we even got into the, into the game, I was, you know, I was very team positive, and I was team positive by boosting my teammates and throwing down the other team as well. And I wasn't, like, nasty to the team. They couldn't even read what I was saying in the lobby, but I was like, you know what, guys? We are going to destroy these people. You know, we're going to blow them up. And somebody was like, oh, I don't know about taking that guy into that lane versus that other guy. And honestly, the matchup was bad. It wasn't a good character to go against the character in the other lane. They were going to go head to head. And uh, he did not pick a good character for who he got matched up against. It wasn't his fault. The other character got picked after he picked his. But uh, there were some misgivings of the team. They were like, oh, I don't know about him being able to handle it. I was like, no, 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 no. He is going to blow him the F up. He is going to destroy this guy. And in doing that, I did two things. First of all, I boosted, I gave the guy who was going to go into the hard lane a little bit of an emotional boost, okay? Which is important because, you know, once you, somebody gets inside your head, you got a hard time dealing with it. By helping other people, you know, by boosting them up, you make it a little easier on them. You make them have a much better time. So first, I gave him a little boost. I said, he's going to blow this guy up. And then... I followed it up with, that jerk is going to regret ever setting foot in his lane, alright? And that basically united the team against, okay, there's this other guy in the other lane who's going to go up against our guy. And so I just boosted our guy. I said, that guy's going to do awesome. I said, that other guy, that other guy sucks. And if things go poorly, it's his fault. So that, if the guy has, if our teammate has a bad time in his lane, that automatically makes the other, makes my team start to put it on the common enemy rather than our guy. Because the last thing you want your team doing is tearing down a teammate who already has a hard time with something. So we got into the game, and of course I went over the top because I'm an over the top kind of guy. But so, like, you know, the second we got into the game, I was like, make them 
beg for mercy. Make them, you know, make them regret every inch of lean they take for you. Make them, make them feel the pain every time they retreat. You know, just going on, just hyping it up, just saying we are going to tear these other guys apart. And so by hyping up the other team and being like, you know, they are going to regret ever setting foot in this rift, you know, whatever. I wasn't saying it to the other team. The other team couldn't see what I was saying. So I wasn't being a jerk to them, per se. But I was getting my team fired up about it. My team was like, yeah, we're going to tear these guys apart. And it was not an easy game. We had a hard time, okay? But because I prepped it like that, then later on, you know, when the guy at top lane died at one point, you know, oh, he had a hard time, you know, whatever. Instead of the team tearing him apart, I was like, okay, we're going to get this guy. And all three of us converged on this lane because all of a sudden I had my teammates fired up about wiping out this other guy. All of us converged on this lane and just, boom, knocked this guy out like three times in a row. It was great. And our top laner all of a sudden had this great lane. You know, the other guy got knocked down a peg and he went on to have a really awesome game. You know, I mean, at one point in the game, I got I got torn up. I had a guy that was sitting on me all game long. And so I was like, oh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm having a hard time. These guys are being real pricks to me. I, I just, I, and all of a sudden, the team was like, oh, those jerks, those assholes. How dare they come in here? And all of a sudden, my teammates were in my lane fighting for me. They're like, yeah, we're going to tear them apart. So by creating that common enemy, I completely turned the tide of that game before it even started. So even though we had a rough time, instead of my teammates starting to tear each other apart, they just got more upset at the other team. And they were like, you know, we're going to try 110% harder because how dare, how dare this other team come into our lanes and mess with us? We are going to wreck them. And you'll see this all the time in sports. In sports, you know, coaches and stuff like that, they'll get the team fired up. They'll be like, how dare these guys come onto your field? How dare they take, you know, and it's a common leadership tactic. You can even see it in, like, politics. Politics, politicians love to paint the other side as, like, the bad guys. They like it when you forget that, you know, like, those are just people over there, just like you are. They care about different things, but they're still just people. No, no, no. Those are subhuman monsters. How dare they? And it's really, I mean, it's a really good tactic. So how do you apply this in day-to-day -day life? Okay, so let's look at some of the examples. Like, okay, uh, when I got promoted to manager of a stock department at a pet store that I worked at, um... The retail sucks. We all know retail sucks. But instead of making it like, oh my god, look at these customers, make the customer be the bad guy, because you don't want that. You're going to have to deal with the customers anyway. You don't want the customers to be the bad guy. The bad guy became inefficiency. It didn't have to be a person. The bad guy became inefficiency and, you know, improper fronting of a merchandise. Seriously. Like, all of a sudden, it was all about, it wasn't about... Why did you put that in the wrong spot, you idiot? You know, when one of my employees was, you know, having a hard time with something. It wasn't, why'd you put that over there? It was like, oh my God, look at this. We can do so much better than this. Look at this, look at this inefficiency here. You know what? We can conquer this together. This inefficiency, this, this messed up delivery schedule, this whatever, this is something that we can handle. This, this, how dare, how dare you? Step into my stock room, you inefficient delivery schedule. But seriously, I mean, you know, that's that's where you can go with this. You pick a common enemy, and it can be a boogeyman that you make up. It doesn't have to be something necessarily completely real. You know, it just has to be something that you can get your crew, get your people fired up about. And you can try this. You can put this in practice. If you play any kind of multiplayer games online, before you ever try it out in real life with real people, Hone your technique with people in League of Legends or Call of Duty or, uh, 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 you know, if you're playing like StarCraft or Dota or any MOBA, anything where you're playing with other people. Grant, StarCraft is usually 1v1, but if you do 2v2s or 3v3s or something like that, um, anytime you're playing with other people, try and get them fired up. Do that. Do that thing. I mean, even like uh, um, MMORPGs. Like if you're playing, uh, uh, you know, any kind of MMO and you're going on a raid or, you know, you're, you're PvPing or anything like that. You can get your, see how well you can get your team fired up against this common enemy that you have and get them excited. Get them excited about it and boost them up. Whenever somebody's having a hard time, be like, hey, you, you're doing an okay job. It's that jerk's fall over there on the other side of the line that's making you screw up. So let's get you better and tear him down. All right. And again, that guy doesn't have to be a real guy. It doesn't have to have to be a person. It could just be a thing. Listen, this job is really hard. Because, holy crap, we're moving 50,000 pounds of dog food a day. That ain't easy. You're standing here trying to move 50,000 pounds of dog food a day. That sucks. But you know what? I'm here for you, and we're going to conquer this enemy together. All right? You can do that. So try that. Next time you're in any kind of online game or you're working with people in real life, you want to try and lead, you want to try and, you know, be that guy at the front lines calling everybody out, find that common enemy and unite everyone against them. All right? So... Give it a shot. It's fun. And, you know, if it's a game, what's the worst that happens? You lose. Oh, play another game. 
All right, so uh, give it a shot, and uh, let me know how it goes. Comment. Comment below. I want to hear about it. Uh, so until next time, remember to live boldly, change the world, and continue to be awesome.